I'm here right now at the media launch for the brand new BMW 7 Series, and I've got Florian Scheck right now. He is the head of all lightweighting efforts at BMW Group, not just BMW. And Florian, you've got a body in white here, the likes of which I've never seen. Take us through some of the carbon pieces that you've put into this car and explain why did BMW go with carbon fiber in this body in white? Okay, yeah, thank you. Well, um, what we were trying to do is, of course, reducing the weight uh, on one hand and on the other hand, improving uh, the, the uh, uh, properties of the body, uh, meeting all the requirements that the new 7 Series has. So, for example, uh, we have here one element uh, made from carbon fiber that sits in the rocker panel. It's uh, here only for display reasons. It's uh, outside. It sits inside this, this structure. So this has to meet full crash safety standards. Exactly. That's, that's the main uh, reason for, for that piece. Um, due to this element, we can uh, the forces that come in from, uh, from a side impact uh, divide uh, to the front and to the rear of, of the car and uh, avoid the intrusion into the passenger compartment. Okay, so, and on same the, as the, the tunnel here, you've got another piece just sitting on top of that. I'm sure that's very different than this rocker panel. Yeah, this, this piece here on the tunnel is really improving the, uh, the overall stiffness of the car. So um, this, the tunnel is more or less a, a backbone uh, uh, of the car that avoids especially bending. Uh, so um, with that piece up here, we were able to reduce the, the thickness of uh, the material of the sheet metal, and so reducing the weight, but on the other hand, with that uh, uh, carbon fiber element, improving the, the strength and the rigidity and the stiffness of the car. I think that's an important point that you just made. It's not just the lightweight carbon fiber it in turn allowed you to reduce the gauge of the steel and get more weight savings as yeah. well. Basically that where the light, that's where the, the light weight savings come from. Uh, you can see this also here in this in the speed pillar. We have that uh, carbon fiber inlay here and uh, due to this we were able to reduce uh, the, the thickness of this uh, B pillar which is a hot formed uh, sheet metal piece and uh, so getting uh, the, the, the weight reduction. And you got to explain this piece up here because th yeah. th this is unique. I've not seen anything quite yeah. like that. This is uh, probably the most advanced uh, carbon fiber uh, piece in, in uh, such a, uh, a design here. Um, the, the roof frame, it's um, uh, made in a, in a blading uh, um, technology, so it's, it's woven around the core. And, um, and then, first time uh, in the market, this is a coreless application. So we were able to get uh, rid of the core and so uh, save even more weight. And what I think is so fascinating about that, because you were explaining earlier, is you can increase and decrease the thickness where you need it, and yet you were <clears throat> able to, to weave this whole thing without something inside that would then have to be removed. Yeah, there's, there is a core um, when we uh, um, wave the, the, the carbon fiber around it uh -huh. yeah, and we can uh, vary the thickness in the process mm -hmm. and also the cross section mm -hmm. uh, according to the level of, of forces we have to, to, to manage throughout this uh, whole piece. That's very interesting because now you can engineer the material exactly the way you want it, where you need that, it. That's it. Exactly. And then explain this one last little piece here too because this doesn't have quite the weave in it, this piece here, that these other yeah. ones did. That you um, this is a, a reinforcement element here for the, for the C-pillar, and it's basically made from uh, the recycling material, which is left over. You see some of these uh, cutouts here, and even on the, on the element on the tunnel. And um, yeah, what do we do with that material? So we thought it can be used. And uh, so the, the material is cut into like 10 mils uh, pieces and then brought into a, a uh, plastic casting uh, process, um, which is very familiar with uh, every regular plastic part. I like that. So you sweep up all the scrap after you make these pieces and you make that piece out of it. Exactly. <laughs> and then one last thing too. I see on this piece we've got a, a number of rivets, and I know that you're using uh, structural adhesives. Why the rivets on top of that? Well, you, you need the rivets. Um, at least, of course, it's uh, um, a, a uh, rigidity reason, mm -hmm. uh, and um, you need, of course, if you glue a piece to, to the body, you need to fix it somehow. Mm -hmm. And, of course, we can use the rivets to fix it until the, the glue is really dried up. Yeah, gotcha. Very interesting.
I have never in my entire life seen a body in white like this one incorporating carbon fiber pieces. Very interesting what you've done here. Yeah, thank you very much. I think um, we did a really a, a great job in, in meeting the, the requirements of a luxury class sedan car um, and finding a concept that meets all the requirements, not only weight reduction. Mm -hmm. It's very important to us that this car meets also standards in acoustic comfort, in interior space. I mean, this is a seventh series. You know? So um, it's not easy to simply say, okay, we make everything from carbon fiber and that's it. It's a multi-material approach and we want to use the materials in their best way. Uh, the best contribution of every single material, that's what we are heading for. Very good. Florian, thanks for your time. Thank you. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires. Your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems. Breakthrough technologies for lightweight vehicles. And by... Pure Michigan, leading the automotive world in intelligent connected vehicles. We run on brain power.